Someone excited, shout a bigger hallelujah. Someone excited to see the last midweek miracle community service, shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice this morning and celebrate your heavenly father for this great privilege to say the last Wednesday of the year, give him all the glory for all he have done for you since the year began. Celebrate him for the blessings. Celebrate him for preservation. Celebrate him for wonders he have done through the mystery of the communion in all our communion services since the year began. Thank him for the privilege to witness the last midweek miracle communion service for the year. This is the doing of the Lord and it is marvelous in our eyes. What a faithful God we serve. What a wonderful God we serve. What a glorious God we serve. Worship his holy name is worthy. Tell him how grateful you are. Tell him how grateful you are. For all you have done, tell him that he, you are grateful. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful. Thank you. And thank you, and thank you, and thank you. For more to tell you, gather since this service began in the year, we thank you. For the souls you save, every Wednesday we gather here, thank you. For the healing and deliverance via the communion, we thank you. For answers to prayers every time we come here to pray, thank you. Join me and lift up your voice and thank this great God. We cannot thank him enough. We cannot thank him enough. Bless the Lord, all, our, all my soul and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, all my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Who did make thy life from destruction. Who commanded you with love and kindness. We celebrate you, our Heavenly Father. For the outstanding sources of our midweek miracle communion service for the year. Thank you. We have not gathered here any Wednesday without you sending your people. We thank you. In Jesus' glorious name. Let's sing this song. Of the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord, for He is worthy of our prayer, of our prayer. No man, no man should be glory. Hallelujah, of the glory must be to the Lord, or to the Lord, of the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord.
No one is qualified to take your glory. No one is qualified. We are standing here today. Nobody deserves the glory except you. 
take all the glory take all the honor take all the observation in Jesus glorious name somebody shout a louder amen Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 7 the Bible say for the vision is for an appointed time but at the end he shall speak he shall not tarry it will surely come somebody shout hallelujah God will serve is a God that will serve the best at the end Mungu anayetunza mambo anatunza kwa ajili ya mwisho. I want you to pray in this last midweek miracle communion service. Katuombe katika wiki hii ya mwisho ya ibada ya meza ya muujiza. Pray for the best. Omba kwa ajili ya mambo mema. Ask God to give you the best of this year. Mungu akupe mambo bora ya mwaka huu. The best healing you have never received before. Mambo bora ambayo hujawahi kuyapokea hapo mwanzo. Best breakthrough that no one have received before. Open your mouth and begin to ask him. In this last day, I will not go back the same Jesus. Visit me in this last midweek, maybe I could come in on service. Don't give up, it is not over until it is over. Don't give up because this service is your own service. Pray to your heavenly father. He will give you testimony today. He will give you testimony today. He will give you testimony today. In all our viewing centers, lift up your voice and pray. As the God of last minute miracles to visit you. The Lord of the the best and the last. The Bible says better is the end of a matter than the beginning thereof. The end is always better. The end is always sweeter. The end is always glorious. Ask God to give you that best he have reserved for you. You can't hear with any kind of sickness. Ask for your healing today. You are not crossing over 2018 with that sickness. You are not crossing over 2018 what you say you would do, that is what you would do. Oh, that is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, what you say you would do, oh, that is what you would do. Oh, that is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, that is why you are called. That is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, that is why you are called. That is why you are called Jehovah. Oh, what you say you will do. What you would do, Elekosia, that is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you would do, that is what you would do. Oh, that is why you are called Jehovah. Father, thank you. Baba Hasante. In Jesus' glorious name we are praying. Father, thank you. Baba Asante. We return all the praise for you. That which you have said you will do, do it again today. In Jesus' glorious name. Visit your people. Give your people a last minute miracle. Your last minute intervention. Let the best you have reserved for your people be delivered to them. 
In Jesus' glorious name. Somebody shout a louder amen. Somebody that is expectant, shout a louder amen. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ and have your seat. Praise God. With this joy, I welcome every one of us. Nakukaribisha kila mmoja wetu to this last midweek miracle communion service for the year 2017. Katika ibada hii ya Jumatano ya mwisho ya mwaka huu 2017. For God's people here at Banana in all our viewing centers, you are welcome. Watu wa Mungu mlioko hapa Banana na katika vituo vyetu vyote nawakaribisha. And I believe God that what he have said he will do in your life he will do it today. Na naamini yale Mungu aliyosema atafanya kwenye maisha yako atayafanya leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are welcome. Sana. In Jesus name. In this last month of the year, our prophetic focus is spirituality, secures destiny and eternity. Katika mlengo wa kinabi wa mwezi huu tunasema maisha ya kiroho utuakikishia hatima zetu na umilele. Spirituality secures destiny and eternity. Maisha ya kiroho utuakikishia E, hatima zetu na umilele it makes destiny to blossom inahitaji e, hatima kuweza kupata spirituality makes a, a life of a man to shine e, baraka za kiroho ndio zinazomfanya mtu aweze kungaa and spirituality makes us to assess heaven at last na maisha ya kiroho yanatufanya tuweze kupata vyema mwishoni and we have been looking at in our midweek services overcoming temptations Tumekuwa tukiangalia katika ibada zetu za katikati somo nalosema e, kushinda majaribu. Without being spiritual it will be difficult to overcome temptations. Bila maisha ya kiroho hali nzuri ya kiroho ni vigumu kuweza kushinda majaribu. And we know that by redemption we are called to be overcomers. Na tunajua kwamba kwa ukombozi tumeletwa kwa ajili ya kushinda. In 1 John chapter 5 verse 4. E, Yohana wa kwanza chapter 5 verse 4. Yohana wa kwanza 5:4. The Bible says, for whatsoever that is born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith. We must carry this overcomer's mentality. You must know that your mentality determines a large extent what becomes of you. Na inapaswa wewe kuweza kujua kwamba mtazamo wako juu ya kushinda ndio utakaokufanya uweze kushinda. Having overcomers mentality will help us to overcome temptations. Kuweza kubeba mtazamo wa kushinda ndio utakaoweza kuyashinda majaribu. You must from the heart think it that you can live a godly life. Tunapaswa katika mioyo yetu tuweze kuamini kwamba tunaweza kuishi maisha ya The moment you believe in your heart that you cannot live a godly life utakapoweza kuamini moyoni mwako ndipo utakapoweza kushinda kuishi maisha ya kiroho impossible for you na itakuwa hakuna kisichowezekana kwako the moment you have it in your heart and you think it that you cannot be spiritual it become impossible for you itakapokuwa haipo katika moyo wako na kwamba huwezi kuishi maisha ya kiroho itakuwa ni vigumu kwako because your mentality determines your actuality kwa sababu mtazamo wako ndio unaoashiria uhalisia proverb 27 verse 3 27 verse 7 Mithali 27 mstari wa 3 As he thinketh in his heart Mtu afikiri hivyo katika moyo wake So he is Ndivyo alivyo Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe You are what you think you are Wewe ni vile unavyofikiri Last Sunday we look at unguarded talk so much Jumapili iliyopita tuliweza kuangalia It's also applicable to overcoming temptations na inafanya kazi katika kuyashinda majaribu pia it must begin with our thoughts ni lazima iweze kuanzia katika mawazo yetu as a man thinketh in his heart so he is mtu afikirivyo nafsi ni mwake ndivyo alivyo proverb 27 verse 7 eh mithali 23 mstari wa the moment Saba. you believe you cannot overcome temptations it becomes difficult the moment you be, you believe that you cannot overcome temptation it becomes difficult 
utakapokuwa hauwezi kuamini kwamba unaweza kuyashinda majaribu itakuwa vigumu kwako praise the the good news is that you and i can live a righteous life lakini habari njema kwako na kwangu ni kwamba tunaweza tukaishi maisha ya utawala we can live a life of godliness tunaweza kuishi maisha ya utawala jesus said be you holy because i am holy Yesu alisema muwe watakatifu kwa kuwa mimi ni mtakatifu. Be ye perfect because I am perfect. Muwe kamilifu kwa kuwa mimi nimekamilika. If we cannot accomplish it. Kama hatutaweza kutimiza hiyo. God will never tell us to be holy. Mungu hatatufanya kuwa watakatifu. Because he will never force us to do what he have not empowered us to do. Kwa sababu hawezi kutulazimisha vile ambavyo ametuwezesha sisi kuvifanya. That's why there is no temptation that comes to us that we have no power to overcome. Ndio maana majaribu yanaweza kuja na tunapaswa kuwa na nguvu ya kuyashinda. As we are entering into another year. Tunapoingia mwaka ujao. Let us as subscribe to godliness as a lifestyle. Hebu sisi tuweze kujiwekeza katika utaua kuwa ni mtindo wetu wa maisha. Godliness may be costly. Godliness may be costly. Eh utaua au takatifu unaweza kuwa na gharama. But the end result is priceless. Lakini eh, matokeo yake hayana gharama. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. The righteous that is not causing you anything is not real. Eh jambo lisilokufanya ukaingia gharama haliwezi kuwa halisi. Righteousness that is not causing you anything is not real. Eh eh haki Righteousness that is not causing you anything is not real. Haki ambayo haiwezi kukugharimu inakuwa haina maana. Godliness will cause you many things. Utaua unaweza ukakugharimu mambo mengi. To live a godly life there are relationship it will cause you. Kuishi maisha ya utaua kuna uhusiano uh, inabidi lazima utengwe. It will cause you your status. Itaweza kukuondolea hata hadhi yako. It will cause you even your job. Itaweza kukufanya hata upoteze kazi. To live a godly life it will attract persecution. Kuishi maisha ya utaua it will attract persecution inaweza ikavutia hata mateso because everyone will like what you are doing kwa sababu hakuna atakayependa unachokifanya we are in the world now they will mock you for living a righteous life tuko katika dunia ambayo watakudhihaki ukiishi maisha ya they will call you different kinds of names watakuita majina mengi tofauti but the end result of it is wonderful lakini majibu yake ya mwisho yatakuwa ni ajabu praise the lord bwana asifiwe they hated joseph walimchukia Yusufu right from his father's house akitoka akiishi katika maisha nyumba ya baba always bring the evil report of his brothers wakati wote walikuwa wakileta habari mbaya kuhusu yeye he was not part of their evil kulikuwa kuna kuna vita katika uovu wao they hated him walimchukia and god had planned greatness for him na mungu akapanga mambo makuu juu yake they succeeded in selling him they succeeded in selling him ali walifanikiwa kumuuza he went to potiphar's house alikwenda katika nyumba ya potiphar he stand for his righteousness alisimama katika haki even to the stand of his master's wife hata aliposimama katika nyumba ya mkuu wake and he said how can i do this great wickedness nitawezaje kufanya uovu mkuu namna hii sin against god kumfanya mungu kumtendea mungu dhambi ended up being a prime minister lakini aliishia kuwa waziri mkuu he suffered in prison aliteseka gerezani he suffered in the pit aliteseka katika shimo he suffered in potiphar's house aliteseka katika nyumba ya potiphar but when he was promoted lakini aliinuliwa every one of them came to bow down to him kila mtu alikuja kusujudu mbele yake they might be persecuting you in that office because of your stand for righteousness kuna mambo ambayo mazuri utayapata kukutembea katika haki don't give up tafadhali usikate tamaa maybe so you will be the managing director of that establishment Somebody shout it louder here man. Amen ya sauti kubwa. It have happened many times. Itatokea mara nyingi. They might gang up against you for stand for for refusing to take bribe. Watasimama kinyume nao kwa kupinga unavyofanya haki. Don't cry. Wewe usijali. Many people might be promoted you are not promoted. Watu wengi watapandishwa cheo wewe hutapandishwa. Don't ship your ground. Wewe usi Don't ship mzuliki. your ground. Usi usi chi usi rarue nguo zako. Don't ship your ground. Usi usi huzunike. When your own promotion come kuinuliwa kwako kunakuja you are going to overtake everyone over utakwenda kuwapita wao wote somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah that's why to live a godly life in this world is costly ndio maana kuishi maisha ya utaua katika dunia hii yana gharama please don't allow it to stop you tafadhali usikubali vikakuzuia call a spade a spade mungu you know what is a spade shovel when you see it don't call it another name in order to in order for you to be liked by people usifa ili wewe uweze kupendwa na watu praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe
Somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. What am I saying? It is so important for us to understand this as we go over to another year. We must understand it. If we don't understand it, most of us might be crying. Tutalia. Please don't cry. Usilie. Rejoice despite the persecution. Wewe dharau hayo mateso. Because one day, Siku moja. your joy will have no bound. Yako itakuwa na Somebody that say in me shout a louder amen. amen ya sauti kubwa. Somebody that say a louder amen. amen ya sauti kubwa. Somebody that shout a louder amen. amen ya sauti kubwa. What am I saying? Nasemaje. Joseph was promoted at last. Yusufu mwishoe akainuliwa. And one thing you must understand that no one is exempted from temptation. Na nachitaka uwelewa ni kwamba hakuna ambaye not even Jesus. Hata Yesu pia hakukwepa matumizi. In Luke chapter 4. Majaribu. Luke chapter 4 verse 1 to 2. Katika Luka 4 moja mpaka 2. Jesus was tempted. Yesu alijaribiwa. No one is exempted from temptation. Hakuna anayeweza kuyakimbia majaribu. Because even when he wa, he returned in the power of the spirit that temptation come. Hata kama una nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu bado majaribu yatakuja. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. But the good news is that Habari njema hii. God always make a way of escape. Mungu siku zote anafanyaga njia ya kutokea. He always make a way of escape. Siku zote anafanya njia ya kutokea. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. Wa Korinto kwanza 10:13. We understood from scriptures that God will never allow the temptation that is greater than you to come to you. Mungu hawezi kuruhusu majaribu ambayo ni makubwa kuliko wewe ulivyo. He said there is no temptation taking you such as is common to man. Hakuna majaribu ambayo ni makubwa kuliko uwezo wa mwanadamu. That temptation is common. Majaribu hayo ni ya kawaida. There's no challenge you are passing to now that somebody have not passed through it before. Hakuna changamoto unayoipitia ambayo hakuna mtu aliipitia There mwazo. is no temptation that is peculiar to you. Hakuna majaribu ambayo ni ya namna ya pekee. Many the world are facing the same kind of temptation. Dunia nzima kuna majaribu kama haya watu walipitia. He said that temptation is common to man. Anasema hilo jaribu ni la kawaida kwa mwanadamu. But God is faithful. Mungu ni mwaminifu. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above? Ambaya that wezi, you are able. Zaidi ya jinsi but with the temptation also make a way of escape. That you may be able to bear it. Ili uweze God mungu. is faithful. He is too faithful. Mungu ni he sana. will not allow the one greater than you to come to you. Hata kuja kwako zaidi. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And that is why if you fell into temptation it is your fault. Ndio maana ukianguka na kushindwa katika majaribu hiyo ni shauri yako. You have personalized it. Ume wewe ndio umeyakumbatia. From your heart you have this you have you have given it to it. Katika moyo wako umeyakubali. Many people are tempted but not everyone is falling to sin. Watu wote wanajaribiwa lakini sio kila mtu anayeanguka dhambini. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Everyone is given to temptation. Kila mtu anapata majaribu. But it is your responsibility to walk out of temptation. Lakini wewe ndio jukumu lako kutoka katika hilo jaribu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wapaze hallelujah. But may I say this to you? Ninasema hivi kwako. Temptation does not equal to sin. Majaribu sio jambo la kukupeleka kufanya. That you are tempted is not a word that you have committed sin. Kujaribiwa sio sababu ya wewe kufanya dhambi. But falling into temptation is what makes sense. Kuanguka kwenye majaribu sio kufanya dhambi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. That is given into the demands of temptation. Ndio maana umepewa mahitaji yanayowaweza majaribu. That's what makes it sin. That's what makes it sin. Ndio ndio jinsi rehema inavyosema. Jesus was tempted but he didn't embrace or he didn't fall into temptation. Yesu alijaribiwa lakini hakuangushwa na hayo majaribu. Please don't ever think that because you are tempted you have already committed sin. Usijaribiwe kiasi cha kusema kama umejaribiwa mpaka umefanya dhambi. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. But how do I overcome temptations? Lakini unachindaje majaribu? It is not special to you. Understand that. Ni there is no temptation that is special to you. Hakuna jaribu ambalo ni maalumu kwako. It is not peculiar to you. Hakuna lililokuwa la maalumu kwako. It is common. Yote ni ya kawaida. And also we have common solution to it. Pia tuna namna ya kawaida ya ku How do I overcome temptation? Tunashindaje majaribu? The first Wednesday we told you 
through the power of scheduled scheduled fasting and prayer ni kupitia eh, katika ile wiki ya kwanza nilisema ni kupitia kufunga na kuomba. We find out that fasting and power and prayer empower us to live a godly life. Tumegundua kufunga na kuomba inatupatia sisi kuishi maisha ya utaua. Since falling into temptation is giving in to the demands of the flesh. Tangu tulipoanguka kwenye eh, kuanguka katika majaribu ni namna tu ya mwili. We need to discipline the flesh. Tunapaswa kuwa na nidhamu katika miili yetu. I remember I said that the few minutes ago. Nilisema Jumatano zilizopita. That the greatest enemy of man is not the devil. Kwamba adui mkubwa wa mtu sio ibilisi. It is the flesh. Ni mwili. You are our inability to control the flesh is what makes us to fall into temptations. Na una uwezo wa kudhibiti mwili wako ili usiangukie majaribuni. Apostle Paul say I keep my body under subjection. Mtume Paulo anasema kwamba nimeutiisha mwili wangu. Lest when I have preached others I will not be a castaway. Nisije nikawahubiri wengine mimi nikawa wa kuachwa. You need to put this body under subjection. Unapaswa kuutisha mwili wako. And you cannot do that with us fasting. Na uwezi kufanya hivyo bila kufunga na kuomba. Jesus said this kind go wait not out. Yesu alisema namna hii kamwe huwa haitokaji. Except by prayer and fasting. Isipokuwa kwa kufunga na kusali. In Matthew 17 verse 21. Matayo eh, 17:21 How do I overcome temptation? Nashindaje majaribu? To win in the war within. To win in the war within. Kupitia kushinda vita ndani kwa ndani. The war against sin is essentially the war within. Eh, eh, vita dhidi ya dhambi ni vita ambayo inapigana ndani kwa ndani. If we cannot stop the thoughts of sin, we cannot stop the action of sin. Kama hatuwezi kuzuia mzizi wa dhambi hatuwezi kuzuia dhambi yenyewe. Devil does not force anyone to sin. Ibilisi hawezi kumlazimisha mtu yeyote kufanya dhambi. The same way God does not force anyone to be saved. Na vile vile Mungu hawezi kumlazimisha mtu yeyote kuwa Jesus said behold I stand at the door and knock. Na nimesimama mlangoni. If any man open the door. Yote akifungua mlango I will I will come in. Nitaingia ndani. And that door is the door of our heart. Na huo mlango ni mlango wa mioyo yetu. And the devil also standing in the door of our heart knocking bringing a lot of thoughts. Na yule ibilisi amesimama katika milango ya mioyo yetu kuweza kubisha kuleta mawazo mengi. We have the power to open the door to the devil. We have the power not to open the door to the devil. Tuna uwezo wa kufungua milango kwa ibilisi na tunaye mlango ya kuto kumfungulia vile That's why a thought of sin will always lead to action of sin ndio maana wazo la dhambi ndio linaloweza kumuingiza mtu katika kutenda dhambi to overcome temptation you must know what you think kushinda majaribu unapaswa ujue unafikiri nini you must think about what you are thinking about unapaswa una, una kufikiri juu ya unavyofikiri if you cannot stop the thought you cannot stop the action kama huwezi kuyazuia mawazo yako huwezi kuzuia kitendo Jesus said. Yes, when I say man. In Mark, Mark chapter 7 verse 21 to 22. Ika Mark, Mark, Mark chapter 7 verse 21 to 20 twenty-three. Marko 7:21 chapter 3. For from within. Kutokea ndani. Out of the heart of man. Moyo wa mtu. Proceed evil thoughts. Mazo mabaya hutoka. Adulteries. Fornications. Murders. Zinzi. Thieves. Covetousness wickedness deceit lavishness an evil eye blasphemy pride foolishness foolishness all these evil things come from within wizi uwaji uzinzi tamaa mbaya ukorofi ufisadi kijicho matukano kiburi upumbavu haya yote ni maovu yatokayo ndani ya mtu kuleta unaji isi it comes from within inatokea ndani and we can stop it from within na hatuwezi kuya we can stop it there tunaweza kuyazuia pale stop it there we will not commit it tukiyazuia huko huko hatuwezi kuyafanya somebody shout hallelujah wapaze hallelujah and finally today how do i overcome temptation tunashindaje majaribu mwisho leo by taking cover in the word kwa kuweza kupata kifuniko cha neno by taking cover in the word of god kujisheheneza katika neno la mungu there is a cleansing power in the word of god kuna nguvu ya namna ya pekee katika neno la mungu the word of god has a cleansing power neno la mungu lina uwezo wa utakaso in john chapter 15 verse 3 yohana 11 mstari wa 3 jesus say ye are clean now ye are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you 
ni mmekuwa safi kwa ajili ya lile neno nililowaambia ye are clean to the word has spoken unto you ninyi mmekuwa safi kwa sababu ya lile neno nililowaambia to overcome temptation you must embrace the word of god kuweza kushinda majaribu ndio pasa kukumbatia neno la Mungu no one will live a spiritual life without the word of god hakuna anayeweza kuisha maisha ya ukiroho asipokuwa na neno la Mungu that is why we must take spiritual bath in the word for cleansing ndio maana tunapaswa tuweze kuchukua nguvu ya kiroho katika kutakaswa na neno Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 wa Efeso 5:26 the bible call it the washing of the water by the word bila nasema kwamba kututakasa kanisa kwa neno my sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word ili alitakase na kuliosha katika neno katika maji the way we take physical bath every day tunapopigana na vita za kimwili kila siku many times in the morning in the afternoon and in the evening ngine asubuhi mchana na jioni the word of god must be must be above that neno la mungu linapaswa iwe zaidi ya hiyo must be more than three times a day linapaswa hata tulisome mara tatu zaidi kwa siku anyone that stays in the war stays in spirituality kila mtu anayekaa katika neno la mungu anakaa katika namna ya kiroho anyone that stays in the war yote anayekaa katika neno we overcome every temptation atashinda majaribu yote when they tempted jesus when the devil tempted jesus iblisi alipomjaribu yesu jesus replied the devil with a word yesu alimjibu iblisi kwa neno matthew chapter 4 Matthew sura ya 4 from verse 1 up to verse 10. Kuanzia mstari wa kwanza mpaka Jesus said is he is written. Yesu akamwambia imeandikwa. Man shall not live by bread alone. Mtu hawezi kuishi kwa mkate. Every word that proceeded from the mouth of the Lord. Bali katika kila neno litokalo katika kinywa cha Mungu. The devil came again. Na yule ibilisi akaja tena. Jesus gave him the word. Yesu akampa tena neno. And Jesus overcame by the word. Yesu alishinda kwa neno. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tuwapaze hallelujah. You overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why we must take heed to the word of god weze kutia bidii katika neno la word, we must take it to the word of god that empowers us to live a sanctified life chukua bidii katika neno la mungu linalotufanya kuishi maisha ya utakaso the, the bible says in psalm 119 verse 9 to 11 psalm 119 verse 9 to 11 zaburi 119 mstari wa 9 mpaka wa 11 a young man cleans his way that is a question he asked and he answered it He said by taking heed dear have unto according to thy word with my whole heart have i saw thee oh let me not wonder from thy commandment say thy word have i heed in my heart that i may not sin against thee jinsi gani kijana isafishe nje yake na kutia kilifuata neno lako kwa moyo wangu wote nimekutafuta usiniache nipotee mbali na maagizo yako moyoni mwangu nimeliweka neno lako nisije nikakutenda dhambi thy word have i hid in my heart moyoni mwangu nimeliweka neno lako that i not sin against thee nisije nikakutenda dhambi when you despise a word you are embracing sin unapo litharau neno unakumbatia dhambi when you don't give attendance to the word unapoacha kujihusisha na neno it will be difficult to overcome temptations itakuwa ni vigumu kuyashinda majaribu you must understand the virtues in the world that that makes us to live a sanctified life unapaswa kuelewa nguvu ilo katika neno inatufanya kuishi maisha ya utakaso you must understand utawu. what the word carries unapaswa kuelewa kwamba neno lapokuja first of all understand that the word convicts lazima uweze kuelewa kwamba neno linabadilisha in Acts chapter 2 katika matendo ya mitume sura ya 2 day of pentecost katika siku za pentecost peter stood and preached the word petro alisimama na kuhubiri neno when he preached the word alipokuwa na ubiri the bible said the team prick their hearts walichomwa mioyo yao in verse 37 they started as a man and bread and what shall we do waka men and bread and what shall we do wakasema ndugu zetu tutendeje basi Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Peter said unto them repent. Petro akasema tubuni. Repent and be baptized every one of you. Tubuni na mbatizwe kila mmoja. It was a word. Ilikuwa ni we are, what we have seen in this commission is an example. Tunapoliona tunachoona katika huduma hii ni mfano. Nobody forces anyone to give his or life to Christ. Hakuna anayelazimishwa kumpa Yesu maisha. It is the word that convicts. Ni neno linalomchoma mtu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Something happened sometime in lagos jambo lilitokea wakati fulani lagos and robber invaded a house and robbers invaded a house majambazi walivamia nyumba and that family before they went to sleep na hiyo familia kabla hawajaenda kulala they were playing one of the tapes of bishop david edepo one of these messages walikuwa wakiangalia cd moja ya baba askofu yedepo a dvd 
katika DVD. They were playing it and they slept and the team was playing. Na walikuwa wanaiweka hiyo CD wakati wao wakiwa wanakwenda kulala. And the bus entered there. Na majambazi wakaingia. And the thing caught the attention of the gang. Na wale walikuwa na silaha kabisa. He, he, he told them to stand up. He uh, told the, the, the inhabitants of the house stand up. Wakawaambia wakazi wa nyumba ile amka amka. Who is this man that is preaching? Eh huyu anayehubiri hapa kwenye TV ni nani? The anvil back the leader uh, us. Yule kiongozi wa majambazi ndio anauliza. He said David Odepo. Wakamwambia ni baba askofu David Odepo. The man commanded his his gang member that they should not touch anything in that house. Wale yule jambazi akamwambia majambazi wengine msiguse chochote katika nyumba hii. He asked the owners, "Can I have the tape?" Wakamwambia na mimi naweza mkania zima hiyo DVD? And they gave it to him. Wakampatia. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. They left without touching anyone. Wakaondoka bila kugusa chochote. Early in the, the next morning. Eh, asubuhi mapema siku ya. The man returned to the house. Yule mtu akarudi katika nyumba. Say I am the anvil that came last night. Sasa mimi ni mmoja wa majambazi tuliokuja jana usiku. Can I have more of the tapes? Unaweza kunipatia DVD nyingi zaidi? That was how the word converted the man. Ndio jinsi kini alivyoshawishika yule mtu. As I'm talking to you now he's a member of Winner Shavo. Ninapoongea sasa ninamwambia sasa hivi ni mshirika. No body preach it, it was a play it was a tape. Kilichomfanya ni zile tape. And God servant doesn't even know when he preached that say it was a tape somebody bought. Na sio kama hata mtumishi mungu alikuwa anahubiri moja kwa moja ni tape. Robbers entered the heart the word converted them. Wale majambazi walivyoka katika nyumba mmoja wao akashawishika kwa ile Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. The word convicts. Kushawishi. In one of the places I have privilege to pastor. Nilipata upendeleo kuwa mchungaji mahali. One person later came crying. Mtu akija analia. Who was in service one of the Sundays? Ambaye alikuwa katika ibada moja Jumapili. He said there's something I said. Akasema kuna kitu imesema. And after the service. Baada ya ibada he left Akaondoka. she left aliondoka even he said she left before the service na tena alisema aliondoka kabla ya ibada because her boyfriend was already waiting for her kwa sababu mpenzi rafiki yake wa kiume alikuwa anamsubiri but she got something from the word being Lak- preached that day lakini alipata kitu katika neno kabla ya kuondoka that the next day when she was going to work e, siku ya pili alipokuwa akienda kazini where she was working we have our signboard there anakofanya kazi tuna tangazo letu and he said immediately she showed the signboard alipoona tangazo letu tena the word came to her again lile neno likamrudia tena she was crying akawa analia she couldn't bear it for days hakuweza kuvumilia and she told one of our pastors akamwambia mmoja wa wachungaji wetu and who came who came with her and she was sharing with me eh nani amekuja nanyi kuweza kutushushia the word which on sunday was convicting her even to the extent that the signboard Neno, of the church. Neno lilohubiriwa Jumapili iliyopita lilimgusa mpaka alipoona bango likamrudia tena. The same board of the church was reminding her of the word. Mpaka lile bango la huduma yetu likamkumbusha neno tena. That was the way she got saved. Ndivyo jinsi alivyookoa. In my office that day I lead her to Christ. Na siku moja tukamuongoza and told her to stop crying. Na kaambia usilie. Somebody shout hallelujah. The word convicts. Neno linashawishi. The word also converts. Neno linabadilisha pia. It is after conviction that people are converted. Baada ya kushawishika mtu anabadilishwa. The word also sanctifies. Neno pia linatakasa. In John chapter 17 verse 17. Yohana 17 17. Jesus says sanctify them by the truth. Watakase kwa ile kweli. Sanctify them through thy truth. Watakase kwa ile kweli. Thy word is truth. Neno lako ndio kweli. Many people have been cleansed by hearing the word. Watu wengi wamekugwa wamekuwa safi. Even as you are hearing it now. Hata kama unavyosikia sasa. That futureness in your life is destroyed. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. You know that the world is has a fire content inside of it. Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 29. You say is it not my world like a fire? The word of God is like into a fire. Neno langu si kama moto. And what the fire does na neno moto unafanya nini it quenches it, it burns everything of futureness to ashes unachoma na kuharibu matetesa makapi yote somebody shout hallelujah mapaze hallelujah understand also that god's word is light that shattered all walls of darkness elewa kwamba neno la mungu ni nuru na mwanga unaozima na kufukuza giza lote is light ni nuru and sin is darkness na unafukuza giza and john chapter 1 verse 5 say light shineth in darkness yeah nasema nuru hung'aa gizani and darkness comprehended it not na giza halikuweza ku and some 119 verse 130 
Na zaburi mia moja, kumna tisa mia thalathini. The Bible said the entrance of thy work giveth light. Kwa, ku, eh, ku, eh, kuangaziwa kwa neno lako, you need the nuru. light that comes from the world to destroy every form of darkness in your life. Unaitaji nuru liyo katika neno kuweza kuzima giza loti katika maisha yako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. One thing also you must understand about the world that makes, that makes it possible for us to overcome temptations. Kitu gani katika neno tena kutusaidia kushinda majaribu? Is that the word of God contains God's nature that swallows up carnality. Neno la Mungu limebeba asili ya Mungu na kuondoa kabisa ile hali ya ukimwili. God's nature swallows up carnality. Eh, asili ya Mungu inaondoa hali ya ukimwili. Anytime you take heed to the word Wakati wote unapojiungamanisha katika neno divine nature. Unabeba eh, asili ya kiungu. If God cannot fall into temptation, you can't carry his word and fall into temptation. Ili usianguke katika majaribu lazima ubebe neno la Mungu usiangukie majaribuni. And not us understand also that God's word contains God's spirit. Tuelewe kwamba neno la Mungu limebeba roho wa Mungu. And God's spirit is a holy spirit. Na roho wa Mungu ni roho mtakatifu. What I announce to him is holiness. Na anayetutangazia na kutufanya kuwa watakatifu. We can't live a sanctified life without the impartation of the spirit of holiness. Hatuwezi kuwa watakatifu tusipokuwa na mguso wa roho mtakatifu. In Romans chapter 1 verse 4. Warumi 1 4. The Bible says Jesus was declared he said, and he declared to be the son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness. And what a good news that inside the world, the word of God is God's spirit. Jesus said in John chapter 6 verse 67. He said, the word I speak unto you. They are spirit. And they are life. Na, ni uzima. And in Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. Ezekiel mbili mbili. He said the spirit entered into me. Roho ili niingia. When he spake unto me. Alipokuwa kisema nami. The nanu. word of God carries the spirit of God. Neno la mungu limebeba roho wa mungu. And when it is declared and received. Na inapotangazo na kulipokea. It destroys every form of carnality. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. And what must we do? We need the word daily to keep the fire of concentration burning. We need the word of God daily to keep the fire of concentration burning. Tunaitaji neno la Mungu kila siku ili kuufanya moto wa utakaso kuchomeka ndani yetu. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. Walawi Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. Walawi sita kuminambili. The Bible says the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. Sema moto madhabahuni ulikuwa ukiwaka kilakati. It shall not be put out. How kuzimika? The priest will burn wood on it every morning. Makuhani walichochea kuni kila asubui. It's a responsibility to burn wood on it. Put the word of God. The wood there represents the word. Wajibu wetu basi kuchochea neno hapo kuni zinawakilisha neno la Mungu. Any time you put fire together. Kila wakati unapokusanya moto pamoja. After burning for some some times. Baada ya kuwasha kuni kwa muda The kada, wood will start separating itself. Utaona zile kuni zinasogea. For the fire pende. to continue to burn. Ili moto uendelee kuwa. Somebody must take responsibility. Mtu anapaswa kuwajibika. Put up the firewood again. Kusogeza kuni tena. When you put up the firewood, anaposogeza kuni, the fire will continue to burn. Moto unaendelea kuwaka. Let not the fire go down. Tusiache moto kazini. The fire of concentration don't allow you to go down. Moto wa umakinisho tusiache kazini. Take responsibility in the world. Chukua jukumu katika neno. To keep it burning. Kufanya uendelea kuwaka. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wapaze hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. Tusimame kwa miguu yetu. Rise up on your feet. Tusimame kwa miguu yetu. Wave your hand and give him all the glory. Inua mkono wako na tumpe utukufu zaidi. Give him all the honor. Tumpe heshima yote. Give him all the adoration. Tumpe adhama yote. Celebrate his holiness. Shereke jina Oh, you are an overcomer. Wewe ni mshindi. Oh, that temptation that been coming over and over is over today. Oh, you will overcome every one of them. You will not fall into it. The desire of the devil will not come to pass in your life. The desire of the devil will not come to pass in your life. Every known addition you have been experiencing in your life, they are dropping now, they are dropping now. You are not taking them over 
to next year. By the power of the communion this morning, you are an overcomer. Wave those hands again and give him all the glory. In Jesus' glorious name. Somebody is here this evening, you want to surrender your life to Jesus? Or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus? Wherever you are, just wave your hand, let me pray for you. Raise your hand up. You want to give your life to Christ? Or you want to surrender your life? Just raise your hand up. If you have done that, please come forward. Let me pray for you. If there is anyone in that category, you want to surrender? Or you want to be dedicated? Come forward, let me pray for you. Before we partake of this communion. Everything that is not of God that follow you to this service today. As you partake of this communion, they shall be destroyed. They shall be destroyed. Set forth your hands toward the communion and take cover in the blood. We overcame by the blood. We overcame by the blood and by the word of our testimony. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Only kashando le banda li katushi kali abaraba. Eli katonde li katoshi kali bali andolobo. Oh, yela bwa kasholi bali anda katole abaraba. Eki taka tali basholi bala bande li abaraba bali ba. Lord, your people is taking cover in the world and the communion today. Every sickness, every infirmity. Lord, let it be destroyed. Please, what do you desire? This is the last communion service as a church. This is the last. This is the last. My next will be in 2018. This is the last for the year. There is something in this communion for you. Open your mouth and say, Lord, that which you have prepared for me from this communion. Let me contact it. That sickness must not go back with you. No, it is not permitted. It must drop off today. It must drop. That body must be lifted. That yoke must be destroyed. Take your own portion of God's for your life. By this communion, that temptation, oh, you overcome them. By this communion, you will not fall into that sin again. By this communion, that spirit of addition, is caused today. Addition to alcoholism, addition to smoking, addition to fornication and adultery, addition to lying, addition to bite-biting, whatever form of addition, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is this word. Lord, it will not follow anyone here that has such to his or her hope today. Jesus, visit your people by this communion today. Let there be instant testimony now. Let there be instant testimony. Let there be instant miracle. Whatever you have not planted in the life of anyone, let it be rooted out. Let it be rooted out. Let it be rooted out. Wherever you are in all our viewing centers, pray your heart. Anything you desire from this communion, take it. For everyone in our viewing centers, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take your this, take your breakthrough, take your healing, take your deliverance. No more nightmares for you. That spirit wife, that spirit husband, by the blood you are, it is over. Anyone, anything that preventing God's Oh, hand upon your life today, it is his word. You must share your testimony before this year is over. Let this communion deliver the best in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Heavenly Father, that best you have reserved for your people. By this communion, let it be delivered. It is blessed. It is not the flesh and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And amen. Choir. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power.
Begin to declare your testimonies now. Lord, I have them. I am healed. What you say in this kingdom is what you say. What you want to say, begin to declare it by the word you have. Lord, and by the communion. Lord, I have overcome. Lord, I have overcome. I'm not, in, I'm not in any kind of bondage to sin. I'm not in any kind of bondage to flesh. Lord, I have overcome every temptation that, that will come my way. Lord, I will overcome. I will not fall into any one of them. I will not fall into any one of them. Alaka shoke to galiba sholi malaba. Ayaka toke to shake taliaba. Ali ababa bali ababa katolobo. Eki ataka ba shake tolaba. Eki atoko tolobo shiaba. Ali andeli ababa ba. Aka ababa bali bo shiaba laba. Eli baba bala katoko tolobo eke takasho le bali abala bala ba. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. In Jesus' glorious name. Sina tukufu la Yesu. Someone shout a louder amen. Amen. You are blessed. Me barikiwa. Go in peace. Nenda kwa man. You have seen the last midweek miracle communion for the year. Mona ibada au shirika mtakatifu ya mwisho wa mwezi. You will see the end of this year. Utaona mwisho wa mwaka huu. You will see the last midweek miracle communion service of 2018 and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Naona ibada ya mwisho ya mwaka 2018 katika kanisa la Yesu. you desire and which you have prayed. By the power in the word of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus, go with them now as a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Between now and Sunday, the God of this great commission will visit you. As we are celebrating God on Sunday, you shall have a testimony. You shall have a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are crossing over to 2018 without any caveover. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace overcome every temptation that comes your way. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. This remaining days, God of heaven will deliver to you the best of this year. And this year will end well for you. It will end in joy for you. It will end in celebration. This year will not end in sorrow for you. You will not end this year in hospital. You will not end this year in hospital. You will not end this year in hospital. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will triumphantly move to 2018 with joy in the name of Jesus Christ. And every balance of the, of the 2017 prophetic focus of my case is different that are yet to be delivered to you shall be delivered the few days remaining in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you your sleep tonight shall be sweet anyone here have been tormented with by a spirit wife or spirit husband, you are delivered today. That, that nightmare is over in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Somebody shout a louder. Amen.